Good evening. Good evening. Hey, how are you? Mm -hmm. mm, so, so. Oh, wow, that was tough. Yes, uh, I can. Yeah, a lot of speaking because next excess of the talk. I start coughing. Like That's coffee, cough. but in ING, coughing. But the spelling is different. Yeah, coughing. Oh, and you have been sick all the week. Yeah, the past. All yeah. the week sick. Yes. My goodness. O sea que si le pego fuerte. Yeah. Uh, lo que me ha fregado más la infección en la garganta. Really? You got infection. Pero ya me empieza a hacer efecto el antibiótico. Thank God. <laughs> And this is, this is the first time que le daba. Uh, no. ¿Quién le había dado? Yeah. Que apparently a las personas que les había dado les ha vuelto a dar, ¿verdad? Uh, yeah. I, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> uh -huh. But be careful and drink your medication. Take your medication. Hoy está en lo que pueda medio hablar. Yeah. It's okay. <clears throat> My goodness. Be careful. Be really careful. All right. Good evening, everybody. I see Catherine, Lucy, Elsie, Sam, Adriana, at least. Hey, good evening. Good evening. Wearing a cap tonight. Yeah, I don't want to come by her. <laughs> <laughs> I need this I, outfit. I, 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 me estoy jalando los pelos ahorita. <laughs> qué día, qué día. What a day. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. And from now on, it's going to be hectic. Yeah. No. Yes, I know. But <sighs> we are here now. Yeah, but let's relieve. Let's concentrate the energy on the Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, teacher. Good Hi. evening. Good evening, Catherine. How are you? Fine, because I done the all the platform in the final exam. Thank God. Yeah. Thank goodness for that. And you are driving to La Quinta now. Yes, teacher. All the way but there. The reality. Yes, I know. It's I my know. every day. <laughs> And what time you finish working? Uh, it depends. Uh, depends. Uh, it depends of, the, of, of the task you have at work. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> mm, usually at six. Um. Yes. Oh, uh, right. Six and a half, including um, Fridays. Yes, uh, really? No, it's not important today. The it doesn't day. matter. It doesn't matter today. Yeah, exactly. No way. Yes. Thank God But, today, today in our work, we finished half an hour earlier. Half. Just 30 minutes before. We usually finish 5, 5 30, and today it was at 4 30. Wow. <sighs> But, I mean, traffic is still someday in my work, teacher. Mm -hmm. Someday, hopefully, let's cross the But I am happy a <laughs> lot because finish the the, the module. Whole, what up, what? <laughs> the module. True, yes. true. Hi, Mr. Hector. I'm sorry, your audio is not working. Yes, we need a technician. So, we need so a when I get my home, I practice with my classmate in oh any activity. Perfect. Are you okay. near? Are you close by? Or still far, far away from home? 
Ah, a little bit. It's the band of traffic. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Cool. Well, I see messages on the chat. Yes. Okay. Hector reporting that his audio is not working. Try to fix it. You can do it. La tecnología no lo puede vencer, mister. You can do it. <laughs> Llama a los children, que los children son buenos para eso. They know what to move, what to click on, and, and they know everything. They can fix it. And sometimes they just use it to their own convenience. <laughs> yes, I tell them, no, you have to fix it because I have seen you. You are experts in this. So I use their abilities. All right, Miss Nuri, how is San Miguel feeling after the explosion? <laughs> uh, we are fine in the city. San oh, Miguel thank city. God. It's okay. So the, uh, the, uh, the uh, eruption other, was on the other side. Uh -huh, on the other side of the, the San Miguel. It was just a mountain. Yeah. We There's just, no population uh, there. Uh -huh, in San Jorge, Placitas. Uh, I I was hearing that the uh, ceniza, ¿cómo se dice? Ash, like the literally ash. ash. A S H. Ah, bueno. Ah, to the San Marcos Lempa. But there are no people the living there. It's only empty area. It's not an empty area. It's a with the uh, with. There are there are uh, uh, populations. Ah. Uh -huh. But it's just the, and it's not a eruption like this. Lava, it's not lava, it's not fire, mm. it's just ash. Uh -huh, ash but they and... feel the, the azufre in the air, like mm -hmm. the volcanic mm -hmm. ashes, all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. But we, here in the city, no. Oh, thank we God. Are safe. So you okay. didn't feel anything. Nothing. No, <laughs> not even nothing. the smell. Yes, because I listened that even I mean I was I was listening to a video. I was not watching the video, I was just in my room, but I was listening that somebody here was playing a video on the on YouTube and they say that even uh Usulutan and San Vicente have mm. I mean the ashes have reached those departments. Mm -hmm. The ashes is what I see. Mm -hmm. That's a historical event for the Chaparrastica this year. We can see all the when the the ashes are blue into the air. Mm -hmm. All right, but, mm -hmm. we are okay. Oh, thank God, thank God. Mm -hmm. What thank about you. Walter? Hopefully, Walter is fine too because he's from San Miguel. Let's oh. see what he says when he connects. All right. Mm -hmm. Hector, I see you connected your audio now. Yep, now. You see? I don't, yeah, really. You got it. <laughs> My computer it says, I, I hate me. The computer. <laughs> the computer hates you. No, it's technology, you know, sometimes devices just act like that. But it's not mm. that they hate you, it's just that they need some kind of different treatment probably <laughs> okay good evening adriana how are you feeling i don't have much voice oh my goodness careful careful you need to recover adriana it's been too long get vitamin c get orange juice lemon juice all this citrus juice and take care of yourself the resting at home would help hopefully all right let's have the attendance we have been talking for a little while already let me see this is the plus 24 one more and we're done and this is the 18th of november Okay, Adriana, I saw she reported herself on the chat. Mr. Carlos as well. Okay. And Christy? What about Christy? She hasn't arrived yet. Elsie? 
Is Elsie here? Present teacher. Good evening. Okay, Good evening, Fatima. Teacher. Good evening. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Hi. Herman, has Herman arrived yet? Not yet. No, I don't see him. All right. Hector. Hi, welcome. Okay, Isabel. Hello, Catherine. Yes. Present teacher. Lucy. Yes. Present. Welcome. Mayra. Present. Welcome. Nuri. Present. Welcome, Roberto. Thank you. Mm, Sam. Present. All right, Vitalia. Nahir. Walter. Nahir. Wendy. All right. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Congratulations. All right, perfect. She graduated. They know how to make parties, you see? All right. And Wendy and Irma probably still working on the... on the Black Friday <laughs> offers. Yes, I see. Oh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, because I don't see them anywhere. All right. Well, platforms done. Finished, teacher. <laughs> Con qué relief. <laughs> Finish. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. Not yet. <laughs> okay, good. All right, hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to check. Actually, tonight I have to send the grades. Okie dokie. Well, let's see. Let's share the screen and see what we got for today's class. As I mentioned before, this is our class 24. And it's Friday. Okay, Friday, November 18th, this is our class 24, and of course, we almost finished with the program for this module, and we're still talking about, well, suggest the most appropriate training solution for personnel after reaching advantages and disadvantages of several solutions, and designing a basic checklist to evaluate the effect of the staff training. So these are like the two last things we are talking about. All right, yesterday we studied the use of will, right? And it was introduced through this conversation. We will use this chart to analyze training needs for our servers. And then the other part, it's at the end, it said, okay, let's have a short Training next Saturday in the morning. I will organize everything and you send them an email to let them know. So we identify the use of will for a decision or for a prediction, right? So this was the explanation of the uses of will. We use will to make predictions to say what you believe will happen in the future. Of course, not like back to the future, okay? We're not talking or predicting like long future. We're saying, okay, what we think will happen in certain situations, right? In specific scenarios. 
Okay, in this case, the scenario is the training in a restaurant. Okay, and then we use will for decision that you make spontaneously at the time when you are speaking. So you say, oh, customers are complaining about slow service, so I will talk to the staff. Uh, the server just spilled the soup on the customer, so I will call the manager. Right, and the other use that is will to make a promise or to offer help to somebody. Oh, I will be there at 9 a.m. I will help you to prepare the documents. I will help you prepare the documents for the training. So we explain this uses of will. First, to make predictions or what we think or what we believe will happen. Second, okay, to make decisions, okay, when we make decisions in a spontaneous way. And at the time that we're talking, and the third one, to make a promise or to offer somebody help. Okay, or to offer help to somebody. All right. We did this exercise. We completed this exercise that we have on the manual that is obviously using will. And I am going to show you this also. That is the, let's say, the structure. Will for affirmative, for negative, or for questions, okay? We definitely use will, okay, plus the verb is I will go there tomorrow. You will, all the subjects, right? Never will to go. That's in, I mean, that's incorrect. You say will go, will do, will organize, all right? And then in negative, it's raining here in San Salvador, by the way. Imagine. <laughs> Thank God there's no Christmas decoration yet outside my house. All right. <laughs> because I was planning to put some ele you know, electrical connection, but not yet. So in negative, we say will not and the verb. Yes, you say, oh, I will not be in class this coming Saturday. I will not be. I will not go. I will not stay. So will not. Okay. And of course, um, you have the contraction is also possible, but mainly when speaking. Instead of saying, I will go, you say, I'll go. I'll go there tomorrow, right? And writing is possible, but it's not mm, so recommended. You better say, I will not, I will stay, I will be. Instead of saying, I'll be, I'll go. I'll stay, right? And then for the negative form, yes, I will. I will not. It is possible also in a speaking to say, I won't. I won't do that. I won't be there, right? So, but it's usually in a speaking, okay? And for questions, you only put will before. Will you be there? Will you come? Will you stay? Okay. So, I'm going to share this information with you so for you to have better reference, all right? So don't worry. Questions so far? Any question? Or no questions? We're good. We're doing good. All right. I have some exercises. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, you have some sentences and you have the verb in parentheses all right so i will use will and the verb okay let me just stop sharing the screen i'm gonna make some groups for you to practice with these exercises mm -hmm. let's see yes
I am work. Uh, you're working right now. Right now. Right. Oh. Oh. Dándole todavía aquí. Como Híjole. por el evento del Black. Ah, híjole, todavía le ha, le ha tocado estar allá. Sí. Pero qué tal, buenas ventas. Ha funcionado Gracias. bastante. Gracias a Dios, sí. Oh. Sí. Hello, London. I probably will go there next year. Mm -hmm. I go. Quiero ver el anterior. Aquí está. I will, y ahí, pero ahí sería I will go o no. Eso quiero entender porque está el. Según el, el cuadrito. Proba, probably. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Afirmativo. Yes. No, yo estoy con tracción. Um, yo creo, no sé si me equivoco, pero es I will go. Yes, creo I que will quedaría. go. Creo que quedaría. Oh, ah, es, es una probabilidad, entonces, ahí. Ajá. Entonces sí es I will go. I will go. Pero, no, pero probably. Mayra. Sí. We can view the next sentence, I think. Forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, here. Mm -hmm. There is the weather for there is, is the weather uh -huh. for yes. tomorrow will be dry dry in sunny dry in sunny say we look for that one and it is it's raining is is the time in the fuerte oh our, I I hope that you don't have problem with your Internet. <laughs> um, number five. No. Mm, number five. five. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry, but I have a call. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> Not it, for nothing special. Okay. <laughs> the president okay. only. Mm -hmm. I will hey, help you. No, I, I, I can tell you. Okay, we can, we can uh, <laughs> retroceder, como diríamos. Uh, feedback. Feedback, oh. something. Okay. Feedback. I don't know. We was in number two with you, Hector. <laughs> number two. Where I think your, I find... We were in, in number two. Mm -hmm. I think I... Creo que viviré en una granja. Uh -huh. I think I will live o viviré en una granja. Uh -huh. Ah, creo que viviré en una granja. Okay. I think I will live on a farm. La 12. My sister. My sister. Aquí sería will not. O como decía Lali, lo podemos contractar. My won't. sister won't live in a big city. Won't live. Mm -hmm. 
I will learn. Y aquí, I won't appear o I will okay. not appear. Okay. Así, ¿verdad? Así. Ok, solo nos faltaría... Eh, ah, la nueve es una pregunta, mire Isabel. What do you think? La nueve es lo que hablábamos, eh, lo invertimos. Ah, ah, ah. ¿Quién crees que ganará? ¿Quién crees que ganará las próximas elecciones nacionales? ¿Quién crees que gane las siguientes elecciones nacionales? Algo así. Pero ahí no será World Win siempre. ¿Who do you think will win the next national election? Number nine. Who do you think? Oh. Will who win? Who will win? Ah, pero aquí es. No le está la persona. Who do who you do think? think? ¿Quién lo que piensa? ¿Quién lo que piensa? Ah, no es que es pregunta. This is a question. Who? Because it uh, start with who, who is like a, a, in a question, you have mm -hmm. the interrogative sign. Mm -hmm. Will win the next national election? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién piensas que será la... la, la ¿Quién piensas que ganará la, la próxima national election? Las elecciones presidenciales, digo yo. Mm -hmm. Democrat or... Republican. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Goodness. My puppy. Your puppy. puppy is barking. My puppy is. I am hungry. Everything is my home. A cualquier cosa le ladra. Y tú le digamos. Number 10. I promise to. I will, I will finish, finish my homework on time this week. I think I will live on a farm. Farm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. My sister will uh -huh. twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. twelve. My okay. sister will not live in mm -hmm. a big city. Or we can ride once. Live. Aquí es abreviado, si, si, si lo abreviamos es one. Ajá. Uh, one or will, oh, my or will, will not, not live. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My sister mm -hmm. won't, won't live in a big city. Uh -huh. And number 13. 13. Thir 13. I will work will in work. a hospital. Uh -huh. I want to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Number 14. I think I will learn to drive at the age of 21. <laughs> yep. Number 15. I hope I I won't appear. Won't appear on TV. Mm -hmm. Number 16. I can see. Okay, let me see in my no vemos la siguiente. No, creo que no está en el, en, en el ejercicio, sí. ¿En la copia? ¿Eh? Ah, solo las 15, sí. Esto es por 15. 15. 16. Mm -hmm. okay. We can read it. I, I, I'll, I will. O sea que I will puede ser I'll. Pero no sé cómo se pronuncia Ayo. Entre, creo. Ayo. Ayo. No, esto no lo podría pronunciar. Ayo. Yul. 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 Mm -mm, no sé cómo sería. ¿El qué? Yul. Pronunciation, sí. 
hell. <laughs> yeah. Like an infierno. Uh -huh. <laughs> the pronunciation. No, no, the hill. Hill, hill. hill. Uh -huh. like a hill suena hill. Como, a, hill. A, como, hill. como a colina. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, no, podría. Mejor es la forma larga. He will. She will. It will. We will. They will. Esta sí me gusta. Uh -huh. No tiene muchas muchas diferencias como los otros. Ajá, uh -huh. it's better for us. The pronunciation, the normal form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I will be ready in five minutes. I will not be ready in five minutes. I won't, I won't be ready in five minutes. Uh, she will arrive on time. She will not arrive on time. She won't arrive on time. Hi, teacher. Hey, finished. Yes, we already finished. Uh, right. Carlos is still sick. I and, know. Yes, and Wendy is working right now. Still working, true. Don't worry. Yes, yes. How are you? Uh, sorry? How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Great. Yes. I hear that uh, it's already rain here. A oh, little really? rain. Here? Yes. It was raining a little while ago. Just a little rain. It's in whole country, maybe. Maybe. Yes, possibly. All right. Yes. Crazy weather. I know, it's almost Christmas. It's the most wonderful time of the year. <laughs> and it's raining. <laughs> yes. That's weird. But anyways, it's fine. For the plants, for the flowers, it's great. It's great, yes. Uh -huh. I don't plant. have to I don't have to water the plants outside my house. <laughs> 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 yeah, I love it. Actually, El Salvador, in general, I consider these last years is green because of the rain. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I have seen more vegetation everywhere. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Because the grass is start to grow. With the... Exactly, everywhere. And the trees are also green. I, mm. I was watching a video from tourists that have come from other countries, from Europe, I think, and they say, oh, El Salvador has such a beautiful nature. You know, it's like, yeah, but the rivers and the lakes are contaminated. Yes. my Fortunately. My wife is from Corinto, Morazan. Really? And yes, the weather over there is incredible, very nice. Ah, that's so cool. And there is a pretty, uh, a, a big hill with the green uh, nice. grass. There are two places in El Salvador that I want to visit. Morazán and Chalatenango, because those are the, the two regions that have more uh, greenery, more yes. uh, green areas and mountains. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. True. Hopefully, Chalatenango. hopefully someday I will go. I will yeah, rent. I will rent a pickup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would be great. We start to up the. How do you say cuesta? A serving. Serving, yes. <laughs> uh huh. That would be nice. All right. See you in the main session. Okay. Bye. Bye.
Sorry, teacher, the sign of the apocalypse is started in my neighborhood. What do you mean? <laughs> the lights gone off and it started raining. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God, definitely was not your day. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, I just, I'm just wanna, I just wanna finish the, the platform, the class, and put my hat and my socks and under the, the bed. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Cómo se le dice las colchas? Blankets, the blankets, quilts. The blankets, and my tiger blanket. <laughs> That's a quilt. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. This is incredible. I know. Sometimes the universe confabulates. You know? yeah. <laughs> All right. How was the exercise? Pretty easy. Pretty yeah, it easy. Was pretty easy. <laughs> All right. Let's have a look at it. Mm hmm. I usually have like three menus floating here. Okay, I love London. Uh huh. I will probably go. I will probably go. You say that. That is that is possible. I will probably. I know this is. Eso no está en la regla, but it's just an extra word just to emphasize that it's a probability, right? I will probably go there. All right. Sure. Yes. Tell it's me. not redundant. Will probably. It's, it's kind of redundant, but it's over understood. Ya se sobreentiende que estoy prediciendo que es una probability. But still, lo gringo lo dicen. Ah, okay. Yeah, I will probably go. Es bueno, so bonito, entonces. Hay <laughs> como enfatizar de que there's a probability. Ah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, I think... I will find... I will find... Aquí creo que queda mucho más grande esto para el espacio. Bye. I will find something nice in my mom's wardrobe. My horoscope says that I will meet mm -hmm. that I will meet an old friend this week. Here is the weather forecast. Tomorrow will be will be. So this is the prediction of the weather. Okay, tomorrow will be dry and sunny. Wait. I will drive you. I will drive you to the station, right? But it's kind of inspiration for it tells something that... That you just she, make a decision right now or that you are offering to help. Offering that, no, to help. I will take you to the mall. Oh, I will give you a ride. Don't worry. Yes. So you're offering help. Mm -hmm. There's someone at the door. I will open the door for you. Mm -hmm. When you volunteer, when you offer to do something, right? Oh, I will open the door for you. I'm hungry. I will make you. I will make you a sandwich. I'll make you a sandwich, right? Uh huh. I think. He will be very successful. He will be very successful in life. I like this type of predictions. <laughs> Who do you think? So it's like, make your prediction. Who do you think? Will win. Will win the elections, right? Mainly when we are in this election process, you say, oh, who do you think will win? the election, the next national elections. I promise you. I will finish my homework. Okay, I will finish my homework tonight, not next week. 
<laughs> right. On time. Okay, I think I will will live. I will live in a farm, right? Yes. My sister will not live will not live, okay. will not live in a big city. Or we can say won't. Uh, won't live. Yeah, I won't live in a big city. All right. Uh huh. I will work in a hospital because I want to be a doctor. I think I will learn, right? I will learn to drive at the age of 21. I hope I want, uh, let's put it that way, appear on TV. So when you are scared of appearing on TV, you say, oh, I hope I want to appear on TV. And the last one, I can barely see. No, we don't have any other. So I just was 15. I remember now. All right. Great. Questions. Everything clear? No questions so far? Great. So that was just to review the use of will and want. Okay. For predictions, for offering help, for spontaneous decisions that you make at the time that you are speaking, all right? Let's check it out. Let me see. Yeah, here we go. ¿Quién es esa? No sé. No creo que será Robin. All right, this is what we just finished yesterday. Yes. All right, we just finished that lesson yesterday. And of course, we're going to start this new one. That is the contrast of will and the present progressive for future plans. Okay, we had a brief explanation last class. So now we're going to practice a little bit more. But before we start going... Let me see, I just need to move something right here really quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just the most appropriate training solution for personal after waging advantages and disadvantages of several options. What would you do if you can afford to go time away to your employees to receive training? to give time. So do you think online courses are a good alternative option? Of course, here is just to interact, okay? So what would you do if you can afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? And the first question is, uh, what about if the employees need the training but you cannot give time? from their schedules because you need them to be productive, you need them to be efficient, you need them to work. Uh, in case you are in charge of an area of some employees, but in case that you need the training, you are the employee and your boss doesn't give you the time, doesn't allow you to take the training, what would you do, okay? so. Here it can be both ways, not only that the bosses who are not able to give you the time because they need you to produce, they need you to work, they need you to finish projects, they need you to complete tasks. So the other question is what, I mean, do you think online courses are a good alternative? So on this part of the lesson we're going to discuss these two questions and then we're going to practice the conversation itself felix and julia are talking and felix says i'm having a training next week 
but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool, I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. All right, so Felix is explaining that he is having a training next week, but he has to travel to another, another city. And Julia says, oh, yes, you will be busy. It sounds like. Okay, it's my prediction that you will be really busy. And then she tells him, she explains that she is taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but she can take it from home. So she's doing some online learning. So e-learning is online learning. Cool, I will ask for e-learning options next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. All right, so the first thing you're going to discuss with your partner is these two questions, okay? What would you do if you can afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? Or if they cannot give you time for you to receive training at your work because of your schedule, because of your responsibility, because of the task, because of the other things that you have to complete at work. And if you think online courses are a good alternative option, are a good idea, and what type of trainings you can receive online, of course, besides learning another language, which is the training that you're taking right now. And after you discuss those questions, you practice the conversation. Is it clear? Yes. Thumbs up. All right. Great. I'm going to make you work with somebody else because it's always good to practice with someone else. All right, here we go. ¿Ya lo tienen? Ok, ahí en Félix. Ok. Um, okay. I having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be boosted. Boost I am I'm talking on a learning training on chicken traffic procedure this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah. Look at, at the time. I am meeting some friends at the conference, Tony. See you later. 
Okay. ¿Alguien más? Bueno, who is uh, Felix? Hey, I'm Julia. Okay. Uh, before you are. You are Felix. ¿Quién era antes? Hoy que, usted, pues, usted es Felix. Hoy que practicaste con Cristina, ¿quién eras? Julia. Eh, yo era Felix. Ok. Felix. I, I have been training next week, but I have to travel to other city. Sounds like you will busy i i taking um e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend but i can take it from home cool we ask for a learning option next time yeah look at time at the time I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Okay. Ahora yo voy a ser Julia y Cristina Félix. Okay. So, solventar to be time away. Si no le pudiera solventar para darles tiempo suficiente a los empleados to receive training. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Or the form of the solvent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, I, I think the second one is relative. relative. Uh -huh. I think the second one is relative at the first one. Because they say, do you think online courses are good alternative option? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's a good option for give uh, some mm -hmm. training for the employees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some kind of conference tonight, see you later. Okay. I have a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds <coughs> like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety for schedule this weekend, but I can take it from home. The employees doesn't have doesn't have to the time to participate on the training. Mm -hmm. The manager have the options to schedule the training on weekend, like you said before. Yes. Yes, for complete not the knowledge. Yes, because you know when we are working in different kinds of um, enterprises, we need to to get more knowledge about the different products or um for example uh, we need to we need to know um the procedures, what we are going to do on work, uh, something, something like that. And we need to train. But I, I think that it's a good idea, uh, training online, um, like I tell you uh, about the webinars, different kind of training online is a good idea. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. I don't know if we have to to practice the, the conversation. Yes, the conversation. Okay, I'm Felix, and you're okay. Julia. Okay. Okay, I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy 
I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety pressure pressures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. Very good. Ahora cambiamos los roles. Change the roles. Okay. I'm Felix. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm taking an earlier training on teaching safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. See you later. See you later. We'll see you soon. <laughs> okay, very cool. Um, do you have some doubts about the kind of word that you don't know how they pronounce? Uh, procedures. Uh -huh, procedures. Procedures. Mm -hmm. On kitchen safety procedures. Procedures. Mm -hmm. Procedures. Okay. Y ahí todos el vocabulario está, está bien. Uh -huh. La otra pregunta decía, do you think online courses are good alternative options? Bueno, o sea, ya la respondimos prácticamente. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Ok. ¿Le damos otra repasadita a la conversación? Vaya. Mm, Ok, I'm Felix. Mm -hmm. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Ah. Sí, los ejercicios son las cuestiones. Tan fácil. Sí, están lo que está aquí, o sea, de la forma que aquí se explica, igual están en las, las cuestiones en los, en los ejercicios. No, bueno. Yo siento que esto sí es. Estaba porque a las seis en punto. We finished, teacher. All right, thank you. Hola. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Hello, Tito. Hello. Eh, voy de salida porque llega a pasar el lista. Igual se me cortó el inter porque 
Me pagaron el de la tía y se me salió. Uf. Como ya tengo tres días me dijeron que tenía que conectarme de hoy, el lunes. Al 100% y se me cortó y como estaba en la venta se me olvidó conectarme a las 8 cabal porque estaba en el ajetre de la venta. Alright. Pero, pero yo te aviso que ahorita voy a salir a por si pasa lista o algo. Alright, thank you. Porque voy a manejar. Alright. Attendance the second time. Adriana. Carlos. Cristina. Present teacher. Present. Hey, thank you. Elsie. Fatima. Present teacher. Thank you. Hector. Present teacher. Isabel. Present teacher. Catherine. Present Lucy. teacher. Present. Mayra. Nuri. Present. Present Mayra. Thank you. <laughs> Roberto. Present. Sam. Finish. <laughs> Walter. Present. Thank you, Wendy and Irma. All right, thank you. Oh my God, done. Done. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah. I see, yes. Okay. Actually, Adriana also finished. Let's see, Carlos finished. Cristina, Don, Elsie, Fatima, Fermán, even Fermán who's not in class today. Ah, then we got Hector finished too. Miss Irma, some Isabel finished, Catherine finished, Lucy finished, Roberto finished. Oh, wow. Quería hacerle algunos cangrejos y una mariscada. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe me now? <laughs> These are the perks, advantages, and disadvantages of e-learning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because we don't know what's happening. <laughs> I know. All right, Sam finished. Yes. Vitalia finished. Walter finished. Wendy is still missing. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Wendy needs lots of help, most likely. And unfortunately cannot help her because she's riding her bike home right now. All right. Well, here we go. Let's practice the conversation. Well, you've been practicing the conversation already, so. Uh-huh. And here we go. See, the first thing you discussed was the questions, what would you do if you can't afford to give time away to your employees to receive training? Anybody wants to participate with the answer to that question? Mm -hmm. Volunteers? No volunteers. What happens if it's not possible to give time or to get time from the working hours, from the working schedules to receive a training? Mm -hmm. Maybe, for example, if, if we know we need uh, some kind of training about the different areas in the work. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, we, we can act to mm -hmm. our manager if we exactly. schedule that the training in 
different times. For example, mm -hmm. we discuss with our partner, uh, Fatima, that uh, um, on weekend, mm -hmm. training on weekend is a good alternative mm -hmm. for for no interference on, on during the week. Mm -hmm. And another thing that will be that we discuss mm -hmm. is about the um, the training online. The training online is a good alternative too because mm -hmm. you can receive a different kind of webinar, for example. Um, right. On training, it is is a good tool. For example, I receive webinars and from uh, different countries mm -hmm. and, and the other participants that are connecting in our internet, for example, um, around to 20 countries. Really? We are interacting in different uh, aspects of the equipment that we sell right. um, from Colombia, from Mexico, from the United States. We receive training mm -hmm. online. That's it's nice. very useful. It's very useful to training online. Yeah, actually, we have this alternative, right? So that's a good option, okay? Mm -hmm. To have webinars, workshops, and all online, or even courses like this one, right? Okay, so from the groups, yes, I think, well, all of you were practicing the conversation, but let's see. I'm going to stop sharing in case I want to choose. I'm going to listen to Mayra and Christina from the group number one, practice the conversation. Are you ready? Mayra and Christina? Yeah. yeah. But of course. All right. There you go. Yes. I yes. am Mayra. Okay. I am having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. So like you will be busy and busy and taking an e-learning training on kitchen support procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool. We look for a learning option next time. Yeah, look at time. I meeting some friends and a conference tonight. See you later. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. Kitchen safety procedures, right? Yes, I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. Great. From the group number two, it was. Hector, Catherine, Nuri, and Italia. Let's listen to Hector and Nuri. Ready? Okay, yes. Ready. All right. Here you go. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. Sound like you will be busy taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety, procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. Cool, I will ask for a learning option next time. Yeah, look at the time. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. See you later. See you later. <laughs> All <laughs> right, great. Yes. Friend, the next group was Isabel, Sam, and Wendy. Of course, Wendy is riding her bike home. She cannot do it. Let's listen to Sam and Isabel. Are you ready? Ready? Ready, ready, ready? Ready. ready. All right, go. Okay. I am having a training next week but I had to travel to another city. Sounds like you will be busy. I'm talking an e-learning training of the kitchen safety procedures this week, but I can take it from the home. Cool. I will offer e-learning option next time. Yeah, 
Look at the time. I'm meeting some friends and the conference tonight. See you later. Where are you? Good. <laughs> All right. Nice. From the other group was. Well, Adriana and Cesar, but I don't think they practice. So the last one will be Fatima and Walter. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, there you go. Okay. I'm having a training next week, but I have to travel to another city. So I like you will be busy. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety pressures this weekend, but I can't take it from home. Cool, I will ask for e-learning option next time. Yeah, yeah. Look at the time I'm meeting some friends at the conference tonight. See you later. Bye. All right. Okay. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend. I know it's a lot, it's a long sentence. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures this weekend, but I can take it from home. So that's good. That's a plus. That's an advantage, right? Okay. That's very nice. And this is a topic that definitely we have to discuss, right? Advantages and disadvantages of e-learning or learning online, okay? There are a lot of advantages and there are some disadvantages as well, as we were saying before, right? E-learning, online learning, okay? Virtual learning, all those prefer to learning through the internet, okay? All right. Advantages of learning online? Tell me. You can take it from home. Mm -hmm. What other advantages? Walter was mentioning some advantages, actually. You can interact with people from different countries, right? From different places in the world. Mm -hmm. More advantages of e-learning? You can take it on your own time as well. Not necessarily taking time from work, right? Mm -hmm. What else? You don't have to move. You don't have to go around the city or go to another city or move to campus. All right. What else? There are so many type of training online so different areas of training right those are the advantages definitely all right let me just get something from here really quick and yes of course uh-huh i think oh yes this was the last one i shared with you so let's keep going. So this is a conversation that you have been practicing. And vamos a identificar, a identify cuáles son las oraciones que están en present progressive para describir una acción en el futuro. Vamos a ver. I'm having. I'm having. I'm having. Hacen negrito se la dan, o sea que ustedes tienen que hacer mucho esfuerzo. I'm having a training next week. La estructura es present progressive para describir una acción que ya está planificada de ya que va a suceder en un future cercano, ¿ok? 
¿Qué otra? Another one? Another one? I'm talking. I'm taking an e-learning training. Okay, I'm taking an e-learning training. That's another one. Espérenme que me quedo feo este óvalo. <laughs> it's ugly. Vaya, ya está más bonito. It's pretty now. What other? ¿Cuál es la otra? Uh -huh. I'm meeting some friends at a conference tonight. I am meeting some friends at a conference. Of course, online, I guess, right? Let me see. Oh, wait a second. I need to charge this thing. All right, there you go. Okay. So, we are using the present progressive to describe an action in the future. An action that is already planned, an action that we know it's going to happen, and when it's going to happen, okay? It's clear. Let's go on. Bye. Look at the conversation and complete the sentences. Lo mismo que acaban de ver, justamente the same. ¿Qué dice en la primera? Uh -huh. I will. I will take. Vean la conversación que dice. I am having. Ajá. I'm having. Entonces, I am. Y acá, having. I'm having a training next week. Estas sentences están en. Present progressive para describir una acción en un short future. Ok, algo que ya está planificado que va a suceder. It's already planned. Number two. Taking. I am taking a ride. Uh -huh. I'm taking an e-learning training on kitchen safety procedures. Number three is, is still progressing. Ajá, para la number three, usaron present progressive o usaron will? Will. Ajá, ¿qué dice? I will ask. I will ask. Ok, ahorita estoy tomando la decisión, ¿verdad? I will ask for a learning option next time. Para la próxima vez pido que mejor me den un e-learning option, right? Que mejor me den una video conference, que mejor me den un webinar, ¿ok? And number four. Uh -huh. I am. ¿Qué dice la conversación? I am meeting some friends. I am meeting some friends, okay, at a conference tonight. All right. Great. Questions? Tienen alguna question? No? Sure. If teacher, if I if use will, mm -hmm. the the word will. Uh -huh. The verb is in base form. In Sin present. Un cambio, sí. En, uh, es su it, forma más básica, base uh -huh. form. No S, no ED, no ING, no tiene que llevar nada. Tal cual. Ah, really? Uh -huh. ah. Sí. Si es he, tampoco se ocupa el no. S. No, ya está el will y el will es el que determina todo. Yes. Uh -huh. but, uh -huh. but if I is progressive, uh, future progressive, Ok, si Use estamos usando el present in... progressive para el future, ahí sí usamos la conjugación tal cual del present progressive, que es la combinación del verb be y el verbo en ing. 
Por ejemplo, si mm. yo digo, eh, okay. Adrián, ya se planificó, ya se decidió que Adriana va a estar trabajando mañana. Entonces digo, she's working mm -hmm. tomorrow. Yes. No es que ahorita lo esté haciendo, pero como ya decidí que ese va a ser el plan, entonces ya se terminó y ahí aceptó. So she's working tomorrow. Yes. No tiene que ver que qué tan lejos está de hacer la... la en realidad, la... sí. <coughs> Tienen que ser como planes más de un futuro un poco cercano. No podemos hacer, o sea, planes que, que es lo que voy a estar haciendo como en 20 años, porque ahora no. Sí, para eso mejor uso el predic de predecir, de prediction, y ahí se mejor uso el will. Por ejemplo, yo le podía predecir a usted, imagínese que yo puedo su futuro. Yo le digo, in 10 years, you will be in Hawaii. You will be happy. You will have a mansion. You will enjoy your retirement. Pero yo estoy prediciendo, entonces uso el will. Porque no es algo que esté planificado, no es algo que esté decidido. Entonces, estoy diciendo que eso podría pasarle. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. All right. No problem. Anything else? Sure. Okay, perfect. But voy a ponerles otra actividad. Esta van a, la van a hacer otra vez con sus compañeros en un breakout room. Y les voy a compartir el link, all right, para que lo trabajen. O sea, le dan aceptar, o sea, entran al link y resuelven la actividad que ahí les va a aparecer. Y si ustedes la quieren compartir con sus compañeros, es fine. Igual pueden ir como compartiendo las answers, ¿ok? Es, es el uso del present progressive, ¿ok? Es easy. Okay. Okay. De not... Bueno, ahí seleccionar la, la correcta. Tal vez se llamaba Tal vez tenía una sola persona que cuidara y fracasó horrible. Vaya que se ve que está What? Eso era. Okay. Okay. Ahí está. Ah, sí la dejó. El mío estoy aquí. Charlie Garbage. Ve, Little B. She's throwing the garbage. She's throwing. Yes, Little B. She's throwing the garbage. Number. You you can you can uh, select. Okay, to... it's up to me. Okay, uh, letter eight. Eight. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they possess carols. They are they are they 
singing carol. They they're, are they're singing carols. Number A, A B, are, are uh, they carol? are they letter B? A or B? B. Let me see. Yes, letter B. Okay, I want I want to select number six. Okay. Uh, Sarah and Leah having breakfast. It's uh, R. Uh huh. Um, I think R. R. Uh, yes, because it's uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Letter yes. B. Letter B. Hey. Okay. Good. You, number number four. Right and easy. Yeah, B. Yeah. 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 The last one, number one, is he drinking soda? And no. He's in, he's drinking coffee at a coffee. little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, no, it was it. Was no. <laughs> Solo me equivocamos. Ah, casi, casi. Ah. I don't read so. Okay, okay. Can... Sacamos nueve. <laughs> <laughs> No me recuerdo. Le faltaba una letra, parece. Ah. Creo que no se puede ver. Ahí está. Ajá. Donde dice show, show answer, dale ahí.
En este no se ve que está. No, yo tampoco entendí eso. No sé si solo de leer o qué, no sé. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see Fermán is in our group right now. Fermán. Ajá, can... menos tiempo good. ahora. Uh -huh. Good evening or good night, casi. Hello. <laughs> good night. Me ha costado este día. <laughs> It's a miracle that you are in the class <laughs> this day. Yeah, the last. <laughs> <laughs> But are you okay? Uh, yes, uh, um, they very busy. Um, very easy day. Yeah, um, mm, mm, me tocó ir a, uh, como se dice, pick up, get, get arrive. Yep, uh, to recoger. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, my son. Uh, At the year of four. No. Sí. <laughs> ah. Es horrible. Okay. Ajá, the, uh -huh. Okay, the important is that you are here, eh, aunque sea tarde. Aunque sea ya tarde. Bueno, uh -huh. no iba a faltar a la penúltima clase. Okay. <laughs> de, we just are, de... uh, me, es, uh, we are practicing oh, some uh, about the future, okay. the progressive future. Um, like the last part of the yesterday class, but more uh -huh. complete, mm -hmm. more complete. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see the group, the WhatsApp. Um, I see um, a screenshot the, the teacher mm -hmm. sent. Um, uh, la forma, la forma de como mm -hmm. de construction de the, the part. Uh -huh. Future and the affirmative, negative, and progressive. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, answer. Uh, uh, no, no es answer. Es este, ¿cómo se llama? Es esa respuesta. Pregunta es. Eh, the question. Question. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, affirmative, negative, and question. Uh, uh -huh. Exactly. The question. Mm -hmm. uh, now is practice question. Uh, now we are uh, uh, some sentence in present and future like a question in this uh, it's, it's like a exercise online okay mm -hmm. okay for Perfect. example we're we'll start again and we start and we can ah okay Hello. Did you do the exercises? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Hi, Mr. Yeah. Ferman. <laughs> Where are you now? <laughs> Hi, teacher. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, it's, it's a long day. It's been a long day. Yeah, difficult uh, for arriving my house. Really? But uh, ya estamos aquí. <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me risa la, plata, la plataforma, teacher. No se preocupe. Yes, no, sí, ya lo vi. Usted cree que no estoy pendiente de eso. <laughs> Ahí soy. Si no lo hubiera escrito. Platform. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> no, I saw it already. Great. Good job. Aplauso para todos los que hicieron la plataforma. Claps. <laughs> Solo me falta Wendy, creo. And I don't remember who else. Thing. A ver, let me check, let me check, let me check. Wendy now sails. <laughs> Wendy <laughs> is traveling all in Salvador. Because, ah, oh, 
I see some other people that are still pending some exams and then yes the others are done oh no let's see who else who else mm -hmm. i guess just that and on the second page because i have two pages to show the grades oh yes just wendy probably mm -hmm. yes wendy All right, great questions. Do you have any questions from the exercises that you just, just finished? No? Was it easy? Kind of? All right, right after we practice the conversation in which the present progressive is used for future actions, we have this vocabulary building. I know vocabulary sometimes requires some practice some translation and it's okay it's okay so off the shelf training courses in-house training shadowing and mentoring con cual de esos tipos de training están más familiarizados le suena alguno o nada que ver nothing yes in-house training in-house training, uh -huh. mentoring, mentoring, el shadowing creo que también es bien famous, ¿verdad? Off the shelf training, eso suena quizá, no es que no sea común, no es que no sea popular, pero quizás el nombre está un poco largo y fancy, Va, pero mentoring generalmente Decimos, ay, es que tal persona fue mi mentora. Yes, o oh, mi mentor. That's at work or at university. We usually have mentors, right? Shadowing. Está haciendo shadow. O sea, es como andar en la... So a, a hacerle sombra, literal, a esa persona para que aprenda todo. In-house training. ¿A qué se refiere el in-house training? A ver, any idea? In-house. ¿A qué le suena in-house? No es que van a la casa, o sí. <ríe> puede ser. La verdad es que sí puede ser. He hecho en casa. Las, las capacitaciones hechas en casa. Ajá. Dentro de la oficina. Dentro de, la la empresa, misma dentro de la compañía, ¿verdad? In-house. Dice, ah, que vamos a tener un training in-house. O sea, no necesariamente vamos a contratar a alguien de fuera. ¿Ya? Ok. ¿Y el off-the-shelf training? ¿A qué le suena? Shadow. Shadow. Más o menos como andar haciendo solo. ¿Sí? Teacher, es co como se dice, es común. Common. Very common. Common. Mm -hmm. common um, en puestos como de, de operario. Yo eso sí lo he visto en las plantas que es prácticamente así. Mira, vení, enseñale. Sí, <ríe> hágale shadow. Dice hasta que aprenda, hasta que agarre la onda. <ríe> o sea, así en los vocablos. No hay, exact, no hay una induction eh, technical. Mm -hmm. uh, es más eh, como empírico. Mm -hmm. Right. Y el off the shelf. Off the shelf. Ni idea. Eso nunca lo habíamos visto. Vale, tratemos de poner las que ya conocemos. Dice, eh, it involves one employee following another employee like a shadow, literalmente, mantenerlo como a la sombra, ¿verdad? To learn all the aspects of a job, this is especially suitable for new employees as part of their induction, ¿sí? Es como literalmente andar haciéndole sombra en la inducción hasta que aprenda 
lo que tiene que hacer. Generalmente se, se, se da a employees que son nuevos. Entonces, literalmente, la primera definición sería... Shadowing. Shadowing. Uh -huh. So, it involves, requiere que un employee ande siguiendo a otro como una sombra, como su sombra. <ríe> y shadow es eso, literalmente. To learn all the aspects of the job. Para aprender todos los aspectos del trabajo. This is especially suitable. Esto es especialmente ajustable a new employees as part of their induction, parte de su inducción. Ya. Yeah. All right. Vamos al. ¿Cuál consideran ustedes que sería el mentoring de las otras tres definitions que nos quedan? Por en alguna parte debe decir. Uh, involves the informal transmission of knowledge and social capital over a period of time. When some face-to-face -face meeting, use of email and telephone communication. Mm -hmm. It is essential to have a mentor. Va, en, la, en el caso de los mentors, o sea, generalmente cuando alguien es asignado como mentor o buscamos un mentor para algo, esa persona casi que está con nosotros 24-7 para lo que la necesitemos. Ideally, ok, yo sé que en nuestras culturas pues no somos mucho de mentoring, pero... Eh, este, en lugares donde sí se lleva el mentorado las personas tienden a tener como mucha más no sé facilidad para para asimilar los conocimientos entonces it involves the informal transmission of knowledge in social capital over a period of time sí, eso sí, no es que va a ser mi mentor de por vida ¿ve? menos que fuera quizás mi mi papá, no sé de repente, pero eso ya son otros aspectos, pero en el caso del trabajo, it involves the informal transmission of knowledge, o sea, no es que le da una clase como tal, pero cualquier cosa que necesita asesoría, usted le puede consultar el mentor, ¿ya? So, es de una forma, de una manera informal, más bien dicho, eh, puede ser también de un contexto social, que usted de repente dice, es que me voy a reunir con mi mentor, porque necesito consultarle algo y lo vamos a hacer en la cafetería o en un café, qué sé yo. Right? So, in social capital over a period of time, o sale un mentor como por dos o tres meses, no like, and with some face-to-face -face meetings, use email and telephone communication, it is essential to have a mentor. Entonces, definitely, esto sería el mentoring. Ok, nos quedan dos. In-house training and off-the-shelf training courses. Ok. Y nos queda la última, ¿verdad? It allows people to learn at their own place and to apply new knowledge immediately. The trainer must be technically able to do the task and to have patience to teach or coach. Tenemos esa. Y tenemos, it involves one employee, for, no, that was the other one, sorry. Cheaper. Cheaper genetic courses. The staff will join employees from other businesses on the course. Some these courses are designed to achieve or count towards a particular recognized qualification. ¿Cuál es cuál? Yo digo que por barato, teacher of the shelf training. <risa> por el precio. <risa> yeah. Sí, creo que ajá, no es como que algo tan rebuscado, ¿verdad? Yeah. Cheaper generic courses. This, yes, the staff will join employees from other businesses. Ok, or the course, some of these courses are designed to achieve or count toward a particular recognized qualification. Sí, literalmente es como una sola, una sola cualificación que necesitamos y de eso, ahí está, off the shelf training. It allows people to learn at their own place. Aquí creo que el in-house no es tanto como de hecho en casas por la compañía, porque si no, la misma compañía lo daría o buscaría a alguien que sea como el más adelantado en esa área y que él mismo lo haga. Sino que creo que lo están aplicando más 
como el in-house que usted lo puede hacer por su cuenta, right? So it allows people to learn at their own place and to apply new knowledge immediately. So the trainer must be technically able to do the task and to have the page. No, la verdad que sí, también puede ser. O sea, si alguien es como el más avanzado en algo, ahí mismo interno en su compañía, esa misma persona debe tener la paciencia para enseñar o ser coach y lograr que los demás también adquieran el conocimiento ya sea técnico o para realizar alguna actividad. Ok, yes, este sería el in-house training. Definitely. Ok, perfect. Bueno, hasta acá hemos llegado con esta lesson. Questions, comments, terminaron la platform, todos felices, happy, forever and ever. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, very, very happy. Lograron so, okay. encontrar la difference y el contrast entre el present progressive para future plan actions. Sí, realmente sí, así como indicó ayer, que depende si es algo como programado. Está ahí era Ajá, Ajá, entonces me sirvió esa lógica que nos dio porque así lo hice y ya la primera me salió. Nice, Ajá, que me alegra. Es que a veces uno, digamos. Se complica, uno, con, de... solo porque ve una Ajá. estructura gramatical cree que es una gran ciencia. Ajá, exacto, uh -huh. entonces, pero ayer así como lo dijo, es exactamente como hay que aplicarlo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y creo que Ajá. también le sirve de repente eh, como ojear un poquito el, el manual, porque aquí también están las explicaciones. Un, un, quizás Ajá. nosotros tendríamos como menos tiempo para hacerlo, pero si nos sirve, pues es también válido, ¿verdad? El, el verificar. Aquí justamente en esta página que estoy mostrando da el contrast entre el will y el present progressive for Future immediate plans, right? Uh -huh. Y le, obviamente le dice acá, ¿verdad? El will, it is used to talk about future intentions that are decided at the time of speaking. Esas son las spontaneous offers, promises, or decisions. Y el present progressive is used when plans and arrangements have been made. Y ahí obviamente están los examples. Luego en este exercise vamos a poner en contrast cuando vamos a usar will y cuando vamos a usar progressive. Pero because of the time, lo vamos a dejar para la magistral clase del Monday. <risa> Dicho y otra cosa, Dígame. es que no sé si se puede verificar que en verdad hemos terminado, porque ayer que me hablaron me dijeron que yo no había hecho nada y ya tenía avance. O sea, ajá, es que nada es como muy extremista, ajá. ¿verdad? Pero sí, I can see that. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. so. It's new. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. I can see everything. Don't worry. Anything else? No more? Are you sure? Bueno, next Monday nadie puede faltar porque igual es la encuesta. Miren su cierre. So, <laughs> you have to be here. Y a los partners que no están, ojalá que se recuperen. Zoom tienen este weekend ya para recuperarse, ya no. Basta. Este weekend. This weekend. No hay que poder estar viendo el mundial. You get worse. Esta gripe ha estado fuerte, teacher. Pobrecitos. Ay, no. No están enfermitos. Mándele buenas vibras. Pero no es... que ya se sanó y de repente cae otra vez. Ay, Dios. <risa> es cierto, es cierto. Pero justamente... Ajá, vi la tendencia a eso de que los que les había dado, les volvió a dar y así como que second round para que se sintiera. <risa> terrible. Terrible, terrible. Sí, bien hubiéramos escrito aquí un, un storytelling de todo lo que les pasó. Este curso ha sido épico para que no lo olviden. <risa> Despidiendo el 2022. Okay. Bueno, so I hope to see you next class. Enjoy, have fun. Thank you. All right, thank you for finishing the platform. I do appreciate it. <laughs>
It's a pleasure for me. All right. <laughs> I know. After the COVID second round. Third round. Third. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, no. Well, if somebody needs to stay for 10 more minutes, it's all right. If not, you can leave. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you for your help. Anytime. My pleasure. Thank you for I was thinking that. By the way, Adriana. <laughs> Carlos, yes. Present. Christy. Hi, Carlos. Welcome. Elsie. Fatima. Fermán, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, Hector. Isabel, Present, teacher. Catherine. Present, teacher. Present. Nuri. Present. <laughs> Roberto. Sam. Vitelia. Walter, Wendy, Present. and Irma. Yes. Present, teacher. Thank you. I am Enjoy. Here, Wendy, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Thank no, you. I'm going to dormir tranquilo for a moment. La va a aparecer ahí. Absent. Yo voy a bajar un punto en la plataforma por la En la plataforma, cabrón. Of course. <laughs> Va a a la teacher a hacer, a hacer la, las calificaciones, ¿va? Definitely, I have to. Uh -huh. I need teacher, to. ¿ya me portó bien? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. Sometimes. <laughs> sí, All right. No. Enjoy your weekend. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.